On the Canada Health Transfer, the Premiers want Ottawa to pay about 35% of all health care costs in cash, not a combination of cash and tax points, because they transferred some tax points a few decades back. What's your position on that? Do you think that the Fed should spend 35% in, in health care costs? We've, we've long supported an increase in uh, the, the transfer. Uh, the amount of the transfer, uh, we are, we're open to the Premier's ask. We're open to hearing uh, if there's a counterproposal, if there's different ways to deliver that. But what we're talking about today is not just that we need to increase in a sustainable, long-term way the funding for healthcare and acknowledging that the federal government has been cutting that funding for decades and that we need to reestablish the federal government's contribution and the premier's demand to increase it is very legitimate. We support that demand. But what we're talking about in addition to that is the immediate crisis in children's hospitals. That is something that is that is in addition to the crisis of our overall healthcare system that has been starved of funding. But we need some immediate action to support the training of additional nurses and frontline healthcare workers. We need immediate action to unlock the workers that are in Canada with international training. We need to make sure we're paying workers a good and decent wage. We need some immediate action to, to deal with, with the crisis we're up against. But uh, when it comes to the healthcare transfer, of course we need to increase it. And we think the premiers have been really uh, asking for something appropriate to, to increase that funding in a sustainable way.